Hi Virgo, it's Be Divine. Welcome to um, the Divine Miracles channel, of course. And uh, the messages for Virgo for mid-February to mid-March 2018. And I am doing things a little bit different this time. I am um, bringing you messages for your life in general, finances, love life, rela you know, relationships of all kinds, an angel message. Um, and I'm using, oh, whoops, these are upside down. Oh, well. I'm using the Green Witch Tarot to bring most of the messages to you. Um, I'm also going to bring extra bonus messages with the uh, Mythic uh, Tarot cards as well, just to clarify things. And uh, also, um, I'm using the Domino Angels. Whoops. The Domino Angels cards, which are available. Sorry, you might be able to see now are available at um, my website only buy one get a pack free they're great to hand you know chuck in your purse okay um all right let's see what's going to come up for virgo and i'm really excited because everybody so far has had the most amazing reading i apologize that i've had to turn the light on in my bedroom because it's now nine o'clock at night and i've been doing this all day so <laughs> Never mind. It's been fun. I've loved every second of it. Okay. So Virgo, I wonder what's coming up for you. Okay. I'm going to do my best to guide you. Remember to look at your moon sign and your uh, rising sign as well. Now my rising sign is, sign is Virgo. My moon sign is Aquarius and I am a Leo sun sign. So it's interesting. So it is interesting to get a full picture of everything that's going on in your life, okay? Remember that you can chat with me and send me a message on Instant Go. Down below is the link and uh, you can open up a chat there. Um, also, you might want to get a more in-depth reading. DivineMiracles.com is the place for you. Um, and I hope that since you're watching, this is a message for you, okay? Here we go. Life in general for Virgo. Life in general. I'm just going to put these out here. Life in general. And for love life for Virgo. Singles, relationships, whatever's going on here. Okie doke. Okay. Okay, so for life in general for Virgo, <laughs> we've got the creative, fiery energy. We've got the Eight of Wands and we've got the Page of Wands, okay, happening for Virgo at the moment. So something happening really quick and messages coming forward for you as well. But I'm going to do a little talk as I do. Okay, so for Virgo... Both, in both of these cards, um, you can't tell because it shows you in the opposite direction. But both of these people are actually facing east. Okay? So there's something east in your life. If you're asking for a direction to go in, it's east. If you're asking for uh, where you're going to live, it's east. You know, this this is something that is uh, an interesting little development I've had. Um, anyway. What I'm feeling for Virgo is that uh, you are really trying to put your heart into many different situations all at once. It's like you're um, very devoted to um, helping other people to help themselves. You're um, you know, grounding yourself, you're working on different things, but you really are focused in the future in bringing a big healing and a big change into people's lives. You are very talented in what you do and perhaps you don't really give yourself too much uh, credit. You're very humble um, in many ways. But you're wanting to develop something in particular. Now, th now this may make sense to someone. You're wanting to develop something in particular with regards to the work that you do. And you kind of at a little bit of a crossroads. I'm also just getting this feeling that you can't, you don't feel like you can trust anyone with this information either. Maybe there's been problem in the past with that kind of situation. But if you put it out there to the universe, like, and you're saying to the universe, thank you for providing somebody that I can speak to about this situation, then you're going to find that it comes forward very, very quickly. There's a lot of learning here for you. 
there's a lot of stuff from the past that and I'm getting this for every almost every reading anyway there's a lot of people and places and situations that keep coming into your mind you're being triggered by past events lately and it's kind of throwing you out of balance a little bit okay there's this sense that you are going to be moving very quickly into a uh, new direction for yourself something more creative or or healing or both um, if you've been thinking about your own business or expansion in your life in some way now is the time between february and march that you do this you know you don't you don't leave it you also don't rely on anybody else to um come to the party because whoever you're relying on at the moment has let you down before and nothing has changed okay I see you in these pictures here looking down, you know, not really looking uh, far ahead at the moment. You're looking at everything that's in front of you and this is blocking you, okay, because this is all you can see is all this stuff here and I've got to do this and I've got to do that and, you know, and there's no one here helping me and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're inside yourself. You're focused down here. It's not good, okay. It's time to focus long range, you know. And also writing a plan of action, you know, whether it's uh, for personal goals, fitness goals, life goals, you know, relationship goals, whatever it is. Keeping a plan of action, keeping a dream board and things like that happening for yourself keeps you, you know, uh, sort of like, oh, what's the word? Uh, it keeps you accountable. There you go. It keeps you accountable for, you know, what you're doing every day on a daily basis. I feel for some of you that it's time to move away from a toxic situation. Move away and be and spend some time in nature. Um, you are a nature loving person anyway. Some of you are contemplating a really big change in location. Okay and you're getting the green light now to do this all right um overall financially you know things are a little bit slow right now if you can get out of looking at that and project yourself to the future start getting more creative start getting things done don't worry about other people to help you don't worry about that just let that take care of itself come go forward in your own right and everything else will fall into place for you too in love and relationships, you've got the three of coins and the star, which is like the three of pentacles, I guess. Couldn't ask for a better card with the, with the star for relationships. And the three of coins is like a coming together and doing things together and working together as well. Very interesting. Um, for those people who are single, someone that you've met like really recently, I'm just getting this feeling for you, someone that you've met really recently or you've been waiting to hear on is going to perhaps get in contact with you now or over the next few weeks um, for other singles you know be open to the prospect of um, going to events that you might normally not normally go to um, I feel for someone that they're they're contemplating traveling somewhere um, to go to a party or to go to someone's event or wedding or something like that um, you're contemplating driving there and you're just not sure. And I'm feeling this might be a really good idea for you. Um, so single people, there is someone coming perhaps from the past back or it feels like the same person that you might have been going out with before. Okay. Um, at any rate, just take things nice and slow. Um, if you're already in an established relationship, you may be going to the next level. Some of you may be getting married, maybe it's around Christmas time, but there's some sort of commitment taking place here as well, um, or further committing yourself to each other, some deepening of the relationship. For some of you that are having problems, it has more to do with work than at home. Um, something is distracting your mind. It's time to br bring yourself back in and center yourself and also lift yourself into that new direction where you're really wanting to go. I see the stork here. The stork's got like a, a um, fish in its mouth. So this also indicates to me some abundance coming your way too. You see the fish in the mouth there. And also in this card, the fish is out of the water. So this may also, in, okay, can you see it there? Yeah. This may also indicate that something is coming out 
um, of of the bag. So someone who might have been sitting in the shadows and they like you are finally going to start coming forward. That's making me giggle. Um, you know, because it's always fun. It's always exciting to, um, you know, when you don't know someone likes you and then something happens, you know, like, oh my God. Okay, so something's coming out in the open here. Um, and that's for everybody um, in your relationships, okay? Um, trust in your feelings here. Trust in your inner instincts. Try not to be doubting of someone all the time, you know, because it really wrecks your head. Like if that's all you're thinking about, I wonder what they're doing, or they're checking social media, checking their... Don't get yourself, if you're getting yourself in that in that mode where you feel like you've got to check everything, then you might want to check why you're in a relationship like that, you know, for because you shouldn't feel jealous, you shouldn't feel um, upset, you shouldn't feel uptight, um, you shouldn't feel like you need to check everything. Um, if you do, have a look inside yourself, there may be something that is triggering a feeling of loss or rejection within you. And you may be projecting this too. Or it could be that there's something that you're really not sure of and it's worrying you, okay? In which case you need to talk. You really need to talk, all right? But other than this, this that's just it for some people. Um, but other than this, I just feel a really good feeling about um, something new starting on all levels in relationships too. Um, let's get a little bit of clarity uh, with these cards here. So some more messages, please, for Virgo, amazing Virgos, always um, perfectionists, but happy perfectionists. <laughs> okay, we got the Hermit. I've got to be careful because I've been turning the computer off with the cards. Oh. Okay, the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. That's interesting. Okay, so we have eight and eight. Um, okay, I don't want you to get worried whenever you see these cards. I'm used to these cards. Um, I mean, I've had this deck since I was 15, so I know, you know, what the cards mean and what they what they are doing. Okay, so for the for this is for uh, Virgo. These are extra messages for you. For some people, uh, there is a feeling of restriction about your spiritual journey or about wanting to be by yourself. So maybe you're being pestered in all different areas and you feel like it's really hard for you to make a decision uh, to let someone go or to let a family member move out or something like that. Like it's something that is just like, oh, how do I do this? You know, you're feeling trapped. You're feeling worried because you're not the sort of person that likes to upset anybody definitely not okay so there comes a decision point in february march you can find your way forward it's quite easy you're just seeing everything is all too difficult at the moment when things are really hard for you to navigate just say to yourself okay i'm thinking about this too much i'm just going to try to let it go for now and i'm going to get myself in quiet meditation and then i'm going to ask what's my next what's the best course of action that's something that's always a good one to say what's my best course of course of action and that spiritual um side of you will really start to open up the answers will be there for you the light will shine the way forward okay i'm just feeling that uh for virgo you often doubt yourself on your own intuition on your own insight and sometimes you have to check in with other people but you've already got it right Okay, this is a year of understanding of yourself, of trusting in yourself and believing in yourself wholeheartedly because if you don't, then other people are going to notice this. Okay, you need to be the, the, you know, the face of your, your business or you need to be the inspiration behind your business and other people are looking to you for it as well, whatever work it is that you're doing. But don't doubt yourself any further. This is a massive message. Things are going to start moving really quickly. You're going to start opening up to new directions in your life. But no more doubts. Get clarity through um, meditation, okay, if you really need to. Um, but don't be worried about this situation or even having time alone. It's all 
for your benefit okay and the angels have a message for you as well let's have a look Archangel Haniel okay this is an angel who is very very kind and loving and very very helpful to us for for caring about ourselves. okay so she's reminding you that your kindness is very much appreciated and that you are about to receive some extra kindness from someone who has a complete turnaround so this could be here old friends and past lovers could come back okay with a new outlook which might bring relief which is interesting because we talked about that okay try to always be helpful and kind even when it's the hardest thing that you can do anything is possible thank you Archangel Haniel you can light a dark purple candle to connect in this instance so this instant is for uh, kindness appreciation you know all the things that you're looking for to show you that you're uh, totally on the right track Archangel Haniel is saying it's it's there okay so someone's coming forward from the past they're probably going to apologize to you for some reason or they you know if you're single they might want to get into a relationship with you it may be a case of well a little bit late okay a little bit late I've kind of moved on you know um, I've moved on from that 20 year ago situation I am not a teenager anymore kind of thing you know what I mean like um, it could be that it's too little too late I guess is the feeling but that you're being appreciated and sometimes someone's saying you know you're amazing uh, you know I think you're awesome you know sometimes people say that to us in the best time you know like when we really need it to happen and something like that is going to happen for you Haniel also helps you to heal this heart space you know from past past situations and um, past hurts expand this heart area so that you're you've got that connection to the divine a little bit stronger as well and you're able to receive uh, more messages and healing and help and support um, from the divine in that way okay so for Virgo don't worry hold on to your hat everything is about to occur very quickly and you just got to pace yourself look forward look ahead you know don't keep looking at every little thing that's around you look ahead at the big picture and it will start moving towards you very quickly okay you are gifted you are loved you are strong you are changing all the time you have come so far okay it's time to keep going now even though it's a little bit you know daunting or whatever and very very quickly all the abundance everything will fall into place and uh, you're going to feel so much better about yourself and your way forward where there has been illness you're going to start to recover from things because you're listening to your instincts and you're following what your body needs and all those kinds of things so it's really about listening and trusting in yourself you know what you want to do and where you need to be as well okay so Virgo I really hope that you enjoyed your messages and that this is the best month for you that this is the start of major things happening in your life and on reflection you'll look back and say that's when it started you know that's when I really got myself together thanks so much for listening I hope you have an amazing month and know that I'm always there if you need me and until the next message bye for now bye <laughs>